Well now, what can I do for you, Chubb? Be. Have you got a pick handle, Mr. Potter? One that's on sale? A pick handle? Well, no one. Um, yeah. All right. Yes, here we are. Uh, you going prospecting, Chubb? No, I found a rusty pick head. He's been cleaning it up for the past two days. <laughs> How much is it, Mr. Potter? Yeah, oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, How much you got? Well, I've only got 50 cents. Well, now, there's a coincidence, Chubb. That's just what it's going for. See, that's <laughs> great. I'll take it. I uh, hear your brother is taking you boys and Mike on a helicopter trip. Yeah, he's flying us around the fire towers. Well, have a good ride, boys. Thanks, Mr. Potter. See you later. Hey. Be in an awful hurry. Yeah, I wonder what that's all about. Come on, let's go. We'll be late for the chopper. Yes, all right. I'll stand by. XNY556 out. We're all set, George. I'm very sorry, Chubb. I just got a call from headquarters. I have to stay here. You mean we can't go? Sorry, Chubb. And I'm afraid I'll have to take Pete from you for a job. But you promised to take us up today. Some other time, Chubb. Maybe the beginning of next week, okay? It's only a few days, Chubb. What's the job? These radio spares have got to go up to Pike Tower today, Pete. Can you manage it? Sure. Do you want to come along, Chubb? No, thanks. Anyhow, Mike's waiting at the fort. Oh, yeah. Well, be seeing you. Yeah, okay. He'd probably like to brain me with that handle. Oh, he'll get over it. Well, I better be going. Are we all ready? It's off. How come? George has to stay in the office and Pete's got to do a job for him. Oh, heck. Now what are we going to do for the rest of the afternoon? I don't know. Hey, it looks okay now, eh? Now that you got it finished, what are you going to do with it? Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll go prospecting. <laughs> you prospecting? Well, what's so funny about that? You don't know the first thing about it. Oh, you think not, eh? There's more to prospecting than hitting rocks with a pick, you know. <laughs> and if I find some gold or something, you won't think it's so funny. Are you serious? Well, sure. You want to come? Come on, Mike, it'll be a lot of fun. No, thanks. I don't want to be around when you start swinging that. But I'll come part way with you if you're going towards Indian River. Okay, let's go. Now, Chubb. Hey, maybe there's some gold left in there. Oh, sure. And King Solomon, too. Let's take a look around. You know how dangerous it is? A guy got killed in there. I'm only gonna look around. But... Oh, nuts. Okay, Chubb, you've had your look. Let's go. Just a minute, eh?
You know what George said? If he caught us in here, he'd skin us alive. Shh. I thought I heard something. Hey, look. What? It's a light ahead. Come on. the only guy who sells hacksaws around here. I think we ought to check up on it. There must be some reason for a brand new tool like this being in that old mine. Come on, let's go, eh? And where did you find it, Chubb? Well, we got it at the... We found it on our way from the fort, Mr. Potter. It had been chucked aside. But you say you haven't sold a hacksaw to anybody lately? I haven't sold a hacksaw for months. Well, there was a new lamp there, too, and it was lit. Did you also find that chucked aside on your way back from the fort? Well, uh... You weren't by any chance in the old pitfall mine, were you? Well, you know we've been told to keep away from there, Mr. Potter. Hmm. Well, if you had found them in the old mine... Mind you, I'm only saying if. Why, then there'd be a logical explanation. How come? Well, the mining company are going to uh, destroy the place. But until they do, they've put in a watchman to make sure that adventurous boys don't go exploring it and get themselves into difficulties. But then, uh, of course, you wouldn't have dared go there after what Mr. Keeley said. So that can't be the explanation, can it? Well, no. Thank you anyway, Mr. Potter. Mm -hmm. I left my pick at the mine. You're not going back there far, are you? Of course I am. I just spent 50 cents on it. I'm not losing it now. But what if the watchman catches you? You're not getting me into trouble, Chubb. I'll meet you back at the fort. Okay. What are you doing here this time of day? I huh? have to come. Wait, Sammy. What are you doing out in the open? It's cold in the mine. We come out to get warm. A couple of kids found the hacksaw I gave you to get the handcuffs off. You gotta get out. I managed to stall the kids for a bit, but others might. Look, we're staying. And you're gonna go on helping us see if you want this, this creep of a nephew of yours to stay healthy. And you to keep healthy yourself, see? Why did you do it, Sammy? I tried to keep my promise to your mother. I tried to look after you, And but... you'll go on doing that, see? If you want to stay healthy. Now, look, you bring the rest of the chow tonight in the blankets. Okay, Sammy, get inside. Go on. Come on.
Ranger's office, Indian River, Keeley speaking. George, I'm at the trading post at Pine Forks. Look, you could have a little trouble coming your way. What's new about that? It's what they pay me for. Early today, a couple of convicts made a break from a party that was being transferred by rail a few miles east from here. Now, we can't say for sure, but the reports seem to indicate they're heading for Indian River. You got anyone fishing or hunting back in the bush? Shouldn't be. Nobody's checked with me. Why? Well, one of the guys is dangerous. He's on a 20-year rap for robbery with violence. He just about killed a guard on the train, and he's not going to take too kindly to anyone getting in his way. Anything you want me to do? Don't let anyone into the bush. Warn your patrols and tower men not to tangle with these two. Just to report back to you and keep out of the way. I'm leaving here now. I'll see you inside an hour. All right. Understood. I'll be seeing you. Hi, George. Pete, come on in. XNY 556 calling all patrols and fire towers. This is an urgent message. Two escaped convicts are believed to be in the area. One of them may be violent. Do not attempt to hold these men. If you see them, report position and circumstances to me and keep clear of them. Message ends. Over and out. I'll put that out again in a couple of minutes. Holy smoke, escaped convicts? Is there anyone at the fort? Hey, Chubb and Mike, I think. That's a little too near the bush, Pete. Get them back into town. And make sure that nobody else hangs around the fort today while these two are still at large. Sure. This is XNY 556, calling XNY 556 A Apple. Come in, please. Over. XNY 556 A Apple. Over. Hey, Mike, tell Chubb not to hang around the fort anymore today. And this means you, too. Over. A uh, Chubb isn't here right now, but he should be back any minute. Over. Well, you better leave a message for him and come to town right away. Over and out. Roger, over and out. You can't kid us, Sonny. That's why we picked this place, because everybody was warned to keep away from it. But it's true, my pal Mike. Listen, just sit there, shut up, and be quiet. What are we going to do with them, Bill? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. My uncle ain't going to like this. Your uncle, Mr. Potter? Yeah. When I'm inside, my uncle sends me candies and all sorts of stuff. Comic books uh, and everything. Look, shut up, both of you. Try that again. I'll get out of here anyway when my pal tells everybody. Hey. That's right. Potter did mention something about two kids snooping around here. That was Mike. Uh, maybe we better make a run for it, Bill. Huh? Yeah. Okay, as soon as it gets dark. And we'll be taking you along as a hostage kid. All my people have checked back. They know not to go sticking their necks out. Fine. We should get a lead soon. I've got four aircraft out, and there's your helicopter. Pete, what about the kids? They're all staying close to Indian River. I warned them. Except Chubb. Well, where's Chubb? Nobody knows. Seems to have gone off somewhere by himself. Chubb will be all right. He can take care of himself. Well, I want him found all the same. You sure you're not making too much of it? I mean, the chance of meeting these guys is pretty small. Yeah, we've looked for him. I guess he's just holed up someplace. But don't worry, he'll be okay. Look, this guy Bale's got a record of violence as long as his arm and twice as ugly. I've seen it. Now, I don't think the guy would stop at murder if he happens to feel that way. Chubb will turn up all right when it gets near time for supper. Yeah, well, if he doesn't, we're going to have to start looking for him in a big way. I just hope we find him. The last time I saw him, he just bought himself a pick handle from old Sandy Potter. A pick handle? Well, he found an old pick head. I guess he's just putting it together. Why, taking up prospecting? You know, Chubb, try anything. Pete, you don't suppose he'd go fooling around the old pitfall? Oh, are you kidding? After what you said you'd do to any of us if we went there, he's not that crazy. I guess not. Not even Chubb. Let's go and talk to the egg beater. Have you seen him? <laughs>
Hi there, Sergeant. Hi, Sandy. I guess you're pretty worried about the kid. What kid? The young Chubb. I understand he's got himself lost. Oh, he'll turn up. We couldn't lose Chubb if we tried. Not that we want to. Sure don't. He's a pretty nice wee lad. <laughs> Didn't I see him coming away from your place with a pick handle? Uh, aye, that's right. I just happened to have one at half price. He'd found an old pick head, and I guess he wanted to make it up. What did he plan to do with it? Oh, he didn't say, but uh, I'll tell you something. I've been putting two and two together. And where did that get you? It got me to the conclusion that he's going to dig himself a hole. You get top marks for logic, Sandy. <laughs> Any sign of the kid? Hello, Mike. Well, why are you no out searching with the others? Well, I don't know what to do, Mr. Potter. If I tell George and Chubb isn't there, he'll catch it because he was there. But what if he is there and something's happened? You think you know where he is? No, oh, I wish I'd gone back with him now. If you have an idea, you should tell George, Mike. He... gone back? He didn't go back to the mine, did he, Mike? I'll have to tell. Oh, it's starting to get dark. Too late for the helicopter. Yes, okay. I'll see if the rest of the kids have got anywhere. Any luck, Mike? Pete, Chubb went to the pitfall mine. What? I was just going to tell George. Are you crazy? He'll hit the roof. Chubb mightn't be there now, though. We've got to go and make sure before George finds out. Come on. It's nice and warm in the pen. My uncle sends me plastic airplanes to make. I made a plastic airliner. With real people and everything. Why did you escape then, Sammy? Because I was handcuffed to bail. So when he jumped off the train... <laughs> so, he is here. I'm having nothing to do with this. You've got no choice, Potter. We're taking the kids, so don't get in the way if you don't want to get hurt. To Potter's truck. What's he doing here? Let's find out. Sammy, don't do it. Escaping's one thing, but kidnapping. If you take Chubb, Sammy. <laughs> This is XNY 556A, Apple calling XNY 556. Come in, please. Over. This is XNY 556. Come in, Pete. Over. George, we're at the pitfall mine. Those escaped convicts are here. What, Pete? What are you doing at the mine? <sighs> All right, never mind that now. I'll be right over with Sergeant Scott. You stay clear of the mine until we get there. Do you understand? Out. Has Pete found Chubb? No, the escaped convict. But they won't get here in time to save Chubb. I know. Looks like we ought to do something ourselves. The truck, come on. They'll be out in a second. Got it. That'll stop the truck, but it won't get Chubb free. We can't fight two cons by ourselves, that's for sure. We've got to figure something out, but 
Hey, those sacks in the back of the truck. Sammy, don't make things worse for yourself. I cannot go on helping you if you go along with a thing like this. He does what I tell him, Potter, now beat it. Wait, is your truck outside? Aye. Listen, Bale, for your own good. Shut up. Listen, we're going to take the kid and the truck. Sammy, grab those cans and the rest of that stuff. Come on, let's go. Okay, Bill. You're not going to take the truck. Are you going to stop me? Sammy, I'm sorry. I've always done my best for you. But Sammy, now I've got to tell the police. It's okay, huh? You just remind the coppers we got a hostage. Come on. Back to jail. Come on. I don't think it's nice work. I told you you'd get it in the neck if I caught you at the mine, and you're going to get it. I'm disgusted with you, Pete. You of all people. Have you completely forgotten that somebody was killed there only two years ago? Well, have you nothing to say for yourselves? Have you no explanation? No, of course you haven't. Even Chubb has more sense. All right, just, just get out of my sight. Now, now, hold on, guys. It was your fault we got that flash. You got us into this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 